everyone, Basif here, and welcome back to the Wednesday stream. We're going to be playing some uh, uh, Boogeyman in VR. I'm scared of this one because this one is pretty much blind. I think uh, me and my friends fired it up once and we played for 15 minutes or something a couple years back. So I don't know anything about the game. So I'm um, not really looking forward to it. It looks scary. As uh, every game that we've been playing, I thought about playing... Uh, a lesser scary coming after Five Nights, kind of like we did with Emily. We played Spookies, Jump Scare Mansion, because, you know, it's, it's considered horror, but it's a fun horror. Thought about doing like a Subnautica or, um, or Doom VFR. I was looking at Doom VFR, but apparently it's got like a 60% rating on Steam and apparently has a whole bunch of problems. So, kind of decided to stay away from that. Hey, Duck Mama! Welcome back to the stream. Thanks for dropping in. How are you? Uh, but we're gonna be playing some boogeyman. Uh, I hope it's gonna work. Okay. The problem is this one starts up different than the other ones um, It has me a little worried this one may be super laggy and if that's the case Maybe we won't be able to play it and if that happens, maybe we'll play some more five nights or something um, But regardless, we'll, we'll we'll figure it out. I'm doing just fine myself. Thank you for asking um, I'm gonna switch over to this mode real quick because I can't I was noticing that after yesterday's VOD that uh there was still kind of a delay that wasn't quite it wasn't quite right. Um so I'm gonna try one more thing, trying to up the the delay just slightly. So please bear with me right quick. Up it a little bit, so if I go blam. Okay, maybe it was right. Alright. So, let's put that one back down. Keep pushing the wrong button. Uh, filters, there you are. So, maybe that one was almost spot on. Like, it seems to change. Yeah, doggo cam is slower. Let's put it back to what I had, I guess. See, every time I restart the computer and stuff, it seems to uh, change the delay slightly. See, that one's pretty dang close. Here. Try to... Oh, see, if I move faster, there's a delay. Okay. Let's uh, drop it down 10 milliseconds. Please forgive me. Try to get this all done before stream, but I didn't have the time, unfortunately. Ran out of time because I was fiddling with the uh, the game that we're going to be playing, hoping it was going to run fine. I can't tell which one's in front. Let's see. It looks close enough. <laughs> So hopefully the game is going to be lined up here. Um, I'm not looking forward to this. You know what would have been better? If I did this. <laughs> Close enough, I say. Uh, let's... Probably jump into this, shall we? Oh man, I'm not looking forward to this. I'm feel feeling like I'm forgetting something again. I've been making a bunch of changes to the stream here, so everything is uh not quite set in stone, not solid here. But uh, we'll make do. We'll make do. All right, so let's start up this game. Not looking forward to it. And uh, I have to start up uh, mirror mode, which is weird. Where did my Shortcut. Don't open up over there. I put you over there for a reason. Did you rearrange yourself? Don't do that. Uh, but the downside is currently running in mirror mode. Essentially runs the game twice and it's most it's meant to be for debugging. But if I don't run in not mirror mode, it's a problem. The microphone is weird. Oh, is it staticky or is it because the microphone was way over there? Alright, stuff is flashing. Here we go. Uh, 
mirror activated boogeyman. Uh oh, it's not lo loading. That's another thing, man. The the game like loads a couple times. It blacks out my screen, loads it up, blacks out my screen is away, blacks out my screen, loads it up again. First one, it's staticky. Blue is not getting a hold of me to fix this. It's not okay. All right, hopefully that's better. Or do you hear like a weird background noise because th my furnace is running? Uh, it's kicked on the heat. Why isn't the mirror loading up anything? Boogeyman is also not loading up. What the heck? I can't even use my mouse. You select the game. Something is strange. There we go. Load the game, please. Okay. You're not going to load, Boogeyman. Try it again. It's better? Cool. Yeah, hopefully, if, if I don't hear, if Blue doesn't send me the other mic like they're supposed to, I still haven't heard from them, and it's been a week now. And I sent two more emails since the last week I haven't, haven't heard from them. If it doesn't work, um, hopefully I'll remember to send it in uh, when, I, when I go on vacation to TwitchCon. So that way, hopefully when I come back, I'll have the new mic. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Game is... Maybe it's... Okay, so I'm in the game here. Oh, there it goes. Ugh. Get out of the game. Where did mirror mode go? No, let me... <laughs> let me out of the dang game! So I can run mirror mode. Oculus mirror. There we go. Alright, that looks a little better. Blam! Okay. Let's see. Aha! We have game. We have game. Whoa! Hello. Oh, I don't like it already. Okay, so what's weird about this game is... Um... Can't see. I can use... Oh, I have to be focusing in the game now. This is going to be obnoxious. I will tell you that. Now, I have to use... I can use the mouse, and that's what the weird jittery... Uh, movement is. Or I can do this. But in order to turn all the way around, I have to use the mouse. Which feels like a problem. Flashlight. Oh, that's bright. Okay. Flashlight. Action button. Uh-oh, I broke the game. How did I break the game? I can't move again. Okay. Oh, I know why, how, how it's breaking. Oh boy, this problem. Now I have to make sure the chat doesn't stay in front. You remember when we changed this yesterday? Yeah, because if it's in front, then it breaks the game and I can't play. All right, let's try this. Nope, not working. It's not working again, that's not good. I do boogeyman there it goes Ugh. Ugh, that's annoying okay oh that's like s super blinding okay squint none VR oh oh that scared me oh, I need to change that uh the sound effect, I forgot about that. That's another thing I forgot. 
What was that? That's a uh, the we got a sub friend in. Let me check that. Here, I will check that once I figure out these controls real quick. Please hold. All right, move around. Options menu is escape. Cherry bomb, glow sticks, coffee. Cherry bomb, glow sticks, and coffee. What? Oh, I don't like that flickering around. That's a. Uh... This game relies heavily on sound. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Hold the action button to open doors. Be careful. A certain someone may always be lurking behind doors. Lovely. Slam the door shut by letting go of the action button if you see any signs of danger. I already don't like it. Don't. Oh, man. Oh, it's so slow. Oh. The movement is nauseating, guys. Uh, uh, uh. Mm, super nauseous, vomity, barfy. Ow, I just blinded myself. Can I turn on lights? Nope. Okay. Let's catch up on chat. This game may be super nauseating. I don't know how long I can put up with it. Oh, Yuri! <laughs> Welcome, puppers. <laughs> Do you see that? Mama responded to your name. What the five bits? Thank you for the five bits, my man. I'm gonna give a shake of five. You wanna give a shake of five? Boo. Good dog. Say thank you for the bits, Yuri. You want one too, mamas? You wanna shake? Who's a good dog? Say thank you, Yuri. Nom 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 nom. I have to remember to change the, uh, sub alert. Because we're no longer playing Five Nights. Ugh. Okay. Yes, and then I can't pop back in because I need to focus the game. Is it laggy at all? Because, uh, that's my next worry. My, my major worry is, uh, that the game is going to make me crap my pants. Oh, man, the movement. Oh. Oh, dude, if I push E... It spins me right round. Like a record. Whoa. Yeah, this is nauseating. Oh, especially if I look down. Whoop. Whoop. Okay. Action button is right click. Whoa, hello. Oh, toggle smooth rotation? What the fuck? What's toggle smooth rotation? Do I activate it? Settings, VR. There we go, screen percentage. IPD override, I have no idea what that means. How do I go back? There we go, oop. How do I know if it's toggled? Oh, there. Oh, so much better. Keep that on. In menu. Toggle screen. What does that do? Did that change it from... Nope. I don't know what toggle screen does. One is full screen mode and one is not. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe I should keep it in full screen. And uh, then check up, see if it looks okay to you guys. Does it look okay? Are you going to do Five Nights later? Maybe, if this game is kind of like a... Not suiting us well, we might switch. Why can't you play normal games like... That benefit from, from VR like Valkyrie. This game uh, was made in, for VR. So, it should be. Does it look funny to you guys? No, it looks okay. Okay. Although, it doesn't seem to be lined up properly. Huh. 
It's probably using the, the left eye. Because I'm looking... No, I guess I am looking to the... No, it's not centered. Oh, no problem. Catch you later, Duck Mama. Pet Tiger was made for Connect, but it doesn't mean people play them. <laughs> All right. Uh. The, oop. Well, now escape's not working. Oh, it's because I'm not focusing in the game again. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's so much better. Hi, creepy bear. What the f oh, don't push E. I wish. Can I change this key bindings? Wait a minute. What? What was that? You'd be laughing. And also, I was right clicking, and it was toggling a light. How did that? Oh man, this is super nauseating. Quick tips, the boogeyman has many ways of getting into the room. Listen for the unique noises to become more alert to which direction he is coming. Your flashlight is your only weapon. Check under the bed when you are low on batteries. How do I do that? Make sure you don't hear breathing when searching under the bed. What? Also, something weird happened here. It's still bothering me. I already don't like this. I don't like games where I have to listen. The battery meter and any items you have are on the shelf in the bedroom. They're on the shelf? Hold down the action button to search under the bed for batteries. Okay, there it is. Hold down the action button. Eyes oh, itching. Release to climb back up. Different colors indicate efficiency. Oh, okay. Oh, there's the colors. Okay. Be careful you're not caught off guard while searching under the bed. So blues are the best. Blues, green, red. There you go. Oh no. House exploration and cassette tapes can be switched off. House exploration and cassette tapes can be switched off. Turn off red and on green. Click the glowing frogs on the main menu. Blowing frogs. Oh. Press enter during gameplay to skip cassette tapes. Feel free to return to the tutorial room at any time if you're feeling lost. The main menu. I didn't think there was a main menu. I thought that was the menu. Um, both the screens went black. Hello? What green frogs? What green frogs? There's no run button? It said green frogs, right? Man, that light is super blinding. Oh, crap. It's weird having to push right click for action. Click the glowing frogs. Is this not the main menu? Thomas's room. Is that my name? That's not a room, that's a closet. Ow. Okay. Oh, no, that's not a frog. There you go, frog. Home exploration. Dang it, dude. Off. Oh, can I... What am I doing? 
3.8 Nightmare Edition. Oh, this is the main menu, right? Oh, this is nauseating. I am so small. Dude, that's like lightning flash. And it reflected off Ugh, the bed. All right, look in the bed. Wow, this is actually really pretty. I'm tiny. I like the music. Don't push E. That'll make me sick. Oh, it was a lightning flash. I just happened to push the uh, flashlight at the same time. I forgot my water upstairs, I just realized. Music is... Hey, look. Wouldn't it be crazy if it was the same date? We're actually playing a creeper! Cubiverse. Ooh. New game. Nightmare night? That sounds horrible. What the? Oh, it's locked. Tutorial. Alright, is this gonna be, uh, the room I was just in? The two hallways that I thought was the main menu? Yes, God damn it. Oh man, I'm getting all sorts of woozy. We may have to take a bunch of breaks. Is that actually paused? I can't tell if it's actually paused or not. I'm already sweating, guys. And not because I'm scared, but because it's nauseating. This one was not, uh, optimized for VR. And here I thought I was getting used to it. That noise. I don't know what this house exploration is. I'm gonna keep it off. I think that means I can walk around the house? What is that, dude? New game. Alright, hold on a second. Oh, man. This, these parts of my nose are already... A little nauseating. No, no problem, Yuri. Hopefully I caught you, man. Yeah, I, uh, I understand it being nauseating, so... I don't know if we'll keep playing it. Because it is kind of... Oof. Are those my little footprints? Hey, doggo. Oh, see, I can't move. What the fuck? Oh, hey. Like this. Am I actually playing? Fuck. I don't know if that was my dog. That thing's creepy. <gasps> Okay, we're actually playing. This sucks. I can hear my dogs. And I can't tell if it's the thing or my dogs. Okay, I already don't like it. I don't know what I'm looking for here. I don't like it. Hello? I mean, I'm totally okay with you staying away from me. My dog snoring right here is messing with me bad. Oh, there's my battery. 
That's nice. Am I missing something? Oh, dude, that killed a bunch of my battery. That's not cool. Okay. I don't know if I hear breathing under my bed. Fuck off. Call him that time. I don't know if this actually pauses it. Is my window always open? Mamas! Here you slurping, it's gross. Man, that uses a lot of power. I don't. Oh, dude! Stay out of my room, yo. How long do I have to survive? That's my other question. And can he spawn like in that dark? You know what I mean? Alright, is it like five nights where I just have to survive to six? That'd be great. Where's all can he show up? All right, so we know the vent, the door, the window. They said I could hear breathing under my bed. The fuck? What was that? <gasps> oh, I hear the breathing under my bed. Now it's hard because it went dark. I ended up ducking somehow. How did I do that? How do I get rid of him? From under my bed. I'm almost out of power. How do I get rid of him from under my bed? It's not okay. I'm gonna get scared. Fuck. I don't hear breathing anymore. Oh my. Fuck off! Holy shit, that gave me goosebumps. This thing has shit. Really, another one? I need a better one. Oh, I could get multiple, I get it. Let me get another one. There we go. What I like to see. Make a clean sweep. Are we done? Are we done? Oh, we're done. Okay, it is to six. Woo! Now what's it gonna do? Are we gonna be able to take a break? Oof. No? Black screen? There we go. Night two. Nope. It's break time. It's break time! Man, that thing, like, gets all hot. Not just on your face, but on the, uh... Like, the heat coming off the, the lenses is crazy hot. Oh, boy!
Mm. Ooh. This is nauseating. Were you guys not able to see my gameplay? Because OBS is showing a black screen. Oh no. That's gonna suck if you guys didn't see my gameplay. The boogeyman has... Oh man. Was there no gameplay? Oh come on dude. And unfortunately there's no way to tell. Actually there's a way. Let me... I'm gonna check the recording real quick. Please hold. While I verify if recording is actually happening. Cool, cool. It was working. All right, well, I'm just gonna have to splice these two videos together, but I can do that. No biggie, no biggie, no biggie. Cool, boy. Uh, I don't think I'm liking this game already. It's freaking me out. Ever so slightly. Ever so slightly, he says. He's slightly wigging out. Um, it looks like the recording was smooth, so hopefully it's coming through smooth on Twitch. Let me check. Ooh. All right. I forgot my water. Please stand by. Okay, we back. Boy. All right. That was me. Seeing if the sync of the things were right. Looks like they are, which is good. I think next time I'm going to have to I'm gonna, I should check that the voice sync is still working with uh, the video. If not, I may have to tweak that as well. Woo! I'm tired, man. This game is giving me the nauseas. So, we will take a hot minute. Maybe I should have a... You know what? Let's make a an overlay thing here. Text. That way I can be like, yo, taking a break. Here we go. That'll work. That'll work just fine. Uh, let's do an outline. That's not what I wanted. But Move this. Uh, let's change this because I didn't want that to happen. Did not want the outline color to be that. Go. Quick time catching up on chat, hanging with, hanging for a bit before we continue playing Boogeyman. There we go. That'll work. I can barely read it. You can just barely read it where my hand is. If I move it. <laughs> you can do um uh... There you go. There you go. That way, uh if any new views come in, they will know that we're just taking a a break. There we go. That works. I don't like it, but it'll work. That's all that matters. Right? Right. 
Oh man, this game. Not... Not liking it. Making me nauseous. Make it like, it would get nauseous, you know how you get sleepy. That's what's happening. I kind of want to take a nap. I don't want to be done. I kind of want to play a fun VR game, like a fun, scary game. Something like, uh, excuse me, Subnautica. Even though Subnautica's VR controls scheme sucks, it sucks really bad. But it is what it is. Well, I'm going to... Check this out real quick. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. But do it, doggo. Something went wrong. No. No. No, you crazy. Crazy. Uh, how do I... Change their sight and it's weirding me out. The bogey man. Also, what did it mean about the tapes? And I'm curious to know about house exploration. I wonder if that means I could jump off the bed. And if that's the case, does that mean I could actually just run up to the bed and look under it and get a thing? Or do I have to actually literally jump up on top of the bed in order to look under it? If I can run around the house. Curious. Boogeyman. Oh, you know what? I may have forgotten to uh, update the the title. Whoopsies. If that is the case. I will be changing that now. EU doggo, dang. You is a stinky doggy. Actually. I did. Look at me being smart. Good for me. All right. Uh, looking forward to this. I don't like that. Uh, the one thing I already don't like is the random battery mechanic. Like, um, like Freddy's. I think. I don't know if your battery drains faster l later nights in or the later in the week of the nights. It feels that way or that's because you're actually having to check more things, but it does feel like it drains faster. However, you can learn that. This one, I don't like the idea that. Uh, your power. Is randomized. I mean, y you can try to manage your power. And all but. The random batteries is not okay unless from what I saw, I think this was the case, but I'm not sure uh, it actually worked that way was uh, when I went under the bed and I got a bunch of those red ones, it actually looked like it filled up the bar of my power or was that red one just had more juice in it? Like, does it actually fully replace your batteries or does it add? Because if it adds, then that's okay. You can be like, be like all right, at three bars down I can if I don't hear breathing I can grab a battery and it'll fill it up X amount if that works that's acceptable but if it's just like well you found a battery and it replaced your one that was better that would suck I would hope that's not the case <sighs> we will see though <laughs> and the other hard part is this one's snoring over here Making me think I'm hearing something from the game coming to get me. Oh boy. Excuse me. Oh, just needs popped again. I thought that was getting better, but it's coming back. I don't know why. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I went to go check Twitch. But uh, I ended up checking the tags and stuff, which I needed to do anyway, but I meant to also check the channel to see if things are coming through okay. Easy. It looks like it.
come up with some new. But I, I guess that message of the break time was on the fly here, so I guess it doesn't need to be any specific kind of thing. Oh, excuse me. Whew. I'm sleepy, sleepy. All right. We good, we good, we good, we good, we good. All right. Maybe we'll jump into... Oh, that's the other one. For some reason, my tweets are not going out when uh, I'm going live again. It always... Er. Okay, that one went out. That's good. <laughs> it, when it tags the channel, though, it's always like a week behind. Like right now... It's saying I'm um, playing Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. In the, in the in the preview anyway, but the title that post says I'm playing Boogeyman, but it's really annoying, and it's always a week behind, no matter what. Tried refreshing the scripts. I've tried everything. This is funny. This guy on Twitter looks kind of like Jacksepticeye, the heavier version. But I don't know. Something's weird going on. With the tweets. It's always been that way. Oh, excuse me. Woo! Okay. Ooh. What was that, doggo? Oh, I don't like playing when I'm all alone. That's off. That's off. Oh. Okay. I should be changing the sub alert. Although it kind of works because it's a horror game. The other sub alert was um the f uh, portal sound, the tur tur turrets. Maybe I'll make. Nah, it's not worth it. I was gonna say I'll I can make one of of the uh, cuckoo clock that was going off, but. I'm only playing this today and tomorrow. Kind of not worth it. Hi, Doggo. How you doing? Doing, doing love you. I do, I do, I do. I do, I do. Oh, another reason why I thought about not getting a Doom BFR before, besides. That was creepy. What was that? Weird noise. Um, Besides the weird bugs and control issues. Someone said um, that there's no option to really play as uh, sitting down. Like the look behind you, you actually have to legit look behind you. Uh, you can't use the control stick on the, the hand set controller. You'd think you'd be able to do that, but apparently you can't. And, you know, if I'm sitting on my couch, I can't turn around and try to shoot something because then my back is going to block the sensors. And probably the couch would too, so I can't do that. What? What? Have it. You don't just get treats willy nilly. Why you got abogies? Huh? Get abogies. When I come snuggle. When you come and snuggle. Hmm? She's gonna come protect me. You try to protect from a boogeyman. You protect from a boogeyman. You protect from a boogeyman. Hi. Mwah. Think doggos have a boogeyman? Mm. Mm. Suppose that could be the the pound guy or animal control. You think that's their boogeyman? Or if you have a neighbor that hates dogs, that could be their boogeyman. Hmm. Mwah. Give face kisses. No, thank you. No, thank you. Burm, 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 burm. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Stuff on the. Oh, cool. The uh, the camera turned off again. What the heck? Why has that been happening? Is that two nights in a row? Hold on a minute.
Watch out, Jada. There it goes. What'd you do, Goo? Hey, hey, Celtic Witch, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. No, just when I talk like that doesn't mean you guys always get treats. Goof boss. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for dropping in. Um, uh, we were playing some Boogeyman. I'm glad, uh, you dropped in because playing this game alone is not fun. It's, uh, it's screwy. I don't like it. Uh, the video cam just died again for some reason. I don't know why it's doing that. Like, the battery is full. I don't know if the charge pack is... Becoming faulty, or... It just makes no sense, and that's the second night in a row that it's done it. So, it has me slightly worried. Hi, Dongo. Hi, Dongo. We were just discussing, uh, if dogs have boogeymen. <laughs> and Jada's being all... snuggly. But, we're about to probably jump into the next... Next round, we're on night two. Okay, it's slightly working. We're okay with that. It's a very interesting game. It's Five Nights-esque, but slightly different. And it's scary that if I could actually walk around the whole house. That doesn't sound fun at all. Why would I want to do that? It sounds like... Just a bunch of... Uh, that that just adds more it more complicated, in my opinion. It sounds like... Like, okay, well, in your room, you could probably just memorize all the areas you can come from, which is probably a lot. It's probably not just four. But you could just memorize that and work with it. And also, you wouldn't have to constantly be running to your bed to get batteries, as opposed to if you're walking around a whole house, you have to memorize a ton of areas that you can hide. Although, since I haven't tried that mode, I could be completely off base on how that works. Or maybe it's just a whole different game mode. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Kind of should move that uh, message because it's covering a Jada face. Nah. Oh, well. oh boy. And this game is nauseating. So we have to take uh, slightly longer breaks to hopefully chill out. Did you see that they have Borderlands? Dude, I did. I saw that announcement. Did I see that last night? I saw it either. I know I saw it today, but I don't remember if I saw it last night or the night before. But uh, yeah, Borderlands 2 in VR. That sounds super cool. Um, that's the one with Krieg, right? Is that the one I played Krieg? Krieg and... Gage, I think, were the heroes I liked in that one. Um, my favorite character is Athena, though, and she's in the pre-sequel. So that would be cool. I'd be on board for that. Yeah. You okay? Can I scare you? That phone. Oh, it's in December? I didn't see they had a, a release date for it. Dude, that's, that's super exciting. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to respond to this.
Boop, boop, boop. My little sister, uh, wants to take me to go see, uh, not Predator, uh, Venom. My birthday coming up. Oh, that, that sounds fun. I'm excited. I've heard mixed reviews. <laughs> as long as it's better than, um, what they did to Venom in the, uh, the Spider-Man with, what was it? There was like three enemies in it. Was it Green Goblin? Spider or uh, Sandman in Venom. There was like three bad guys in that Spider-Man. That was super upsetting. It was horrible. Horrible Venom. I was so upset. I was like, this is the reason I came to see this movie. Because I didn't like any of the other Spider-Men at that point. Like, I came to see Venom. He's awesome. And you guys ruined him. And at that point, I was like, Vin Diesel should play, should play Venom. He'd be in... Like, maybe not necessarily his acting, but his build and his voice would be a great Venom. At the time, that's what I thought, but... Uh, I like Tom Hardy. He, he's a great actor, so I'm hoping it's good. The CG is kind of goofy. We're, like, <laughs> over his face. But I, I probably can get used to it. I saw it today. Oh, you saw it on Facebook today. That'll be in December. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that one looks super cool. Although, I don't know... <laughs> How comfortable it would be to play Borderlands in VR. Because the running and stuff might be nauseating. And to that point, pre-sequel probably would be even more nauseating in VR. Because of the, the low grav. And the, uh, the air boosts you can do. I don't know. Athena's badass. I love her. She's super cool. I, I still have an, on my list of million games to play for the channel. I want to play um, with my buddy. Uh, who was his OG? Mine was Athena. I don't remember who he started with. Um, but he ended up switching a few times. And we just leveled him up again. Um, but Oh, he, uh, Nisha. He, he was really in Nisha for a while, and then Baroness came out, and that was awesome. And then we also made, a, I think, me and three of my buddies, we made a, a Claptrap squad. That was just insanity and chaos. Uh, because one of us was the one that just threw grenades and crap when he died or exploded or got shot. And just absolute insanity, just Claptraps running around being idiots and super fun. Those games are some of my favorite games. Excuse me. But that'll that'll be fun. Maybe I'll put that one on a poll to play it. <laughs> Excuse me, sometime coming up. Uh we still have to finish Divinity Original Sin 2 though. Um so I think that one's got after October, that one's got a while to go still. We're still only on Act 2. Um but I'm loving that game. The writing is some of the best writing in any game I've ever played. And uh, Larian is an awesome studio. They are, they are good devs. I love them. So I'm totally okay with just spending forever playing their game. Donk, donk, donk. What do you want? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Boop, boop, boop. Love you. Oh. But uh, who'd you play in Borderlands, Celtic? And did you ever play pre sequel? Apparently, a lot of people did not like pre sequel. Um, I'll, I'll give them that the storyline wasn't as good. Um, but I also, I guess I liked it because I played Athena and she was more of the good guy of the bad guys. Everyone else was like legit bad guy, except for Claptrap. He's, he's just a d dummy running around doing stuff for Claptrap reasons. But Nisha, uh, I don't remember who the big dude is, the robot guy, Wilhelm. Nisha, Wilhelm and Baroness, they're all like legit bad guys. Athena was just doing it because she it was it was a paid job. And I like her story. She's cool. And she ends up dating uh, Janie Springs, and Janie Springs cracks me up. I love her. She's almost on par with Tiny Tina. Uh, I, I shouldn't say almost. Tiny Tina's like way up there. I love her. She's adorable. And scary. But she cracks me up. But uh, Janie Springs is funny too. I love her. She's crazy. 
Why? Why do you look like you've been getting beat? Hmm? You guys not give me cookies anymore, You don't need one. You already came in and gave you some. Bubba. No, no, no. Nope. 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 No better. She's like getting conditioned to think that she's entitled to cookies and stuff just because I'm streaming now. Maybe the cookies for stream was not such a good idea, but I like it. It's fun. It, it gives viewers and stuff a... Not an incentive, but a, a physical representation of more than just, yay, a follow happened or whatever. Like, something happened and the doggies get happy. You know, who doesn't like happy doggies? Everyone likes happy doggies. But to that note, I may do another round. The downside of that is I have to play with keyboard and mouse. And if I get super scared, I'm actually, no, it won't be that bad because my hands will be on the keyboard and mouse. So hopefully if I kick up, I'll be able to slam it back down. I don't know. I guess we'll see, huh? All right. Let's switch. All right. Now, the downside is, for some reason, hopefully this loads the game. Night two. All right, you guys see it. Uh oh. Oh no, I'm not in the game. That's not good. I'm gonna get killed. I'm not actually in the game. There it goes. Fuck off! Oh jeez. Jada, move your head. Dude, he came out quick. That was not okay. Speaking of Jada, crazy doggo. That was scary. All right. I want these off my ears. I like them on my ears. I don't need to have my hand on the keyboard, actually, apparently. I don't need to move around. Although, at one point, like, I had my guy duck behind the thing. Maybe I just moved, though. I did not like that the... Fuck. <gasps> no! The lights went out that one time. At least the dogs aren't breathing hard anymore, throwing me off. What was that noise? What is that noise? Is that just the tree? Can he actually like climb the tree? Oh goodness. <gasps> Get out of here. The fuck? No! I heard it from like two different directions there. That was weird. He's super active tonight. Yay, green one. Is it just random or do they just progressively get worse? What time is it? About halfway there. Nope. Nope. Dude, you stayed out forever. That was not cool. I didn't like that at all. Nope, nope. Stupid monkey thing. That thing is terrifying. Almost as scary as the boogeyman here. Oh. That gave me goosebumps. Oh, he's breathing under my bed. And it's super dark over there. What the fuck? 
Oh, it's a TV. Not like that. Can you stop breathing under my bed, bro? Go away. Almost out of woo juice. Go away, bro. Almost out of woo juice. What was that? Oh, he ain't breathing no more. Really? A red one? Jet. What? I heard something, I swear. There you are. Dude, they're moving faster now. Should have checked for a battery. Been the smart thing to do. Fuck. Oh, my power's out. Cool. This is not cool. Nope. I heard a thing. Maybe not. Nope. Dude, he was fast. I heard something, I swear. Boom, headshot! God damn it, headshot. You got me good. Ha ha! Night two. Suck it, boogeyman. Ooh, that should be the sound of a uh, subs coming in. Cuckoo clock. Gonna load up. Gonna load up. Night three. Pause. And it is break time, my friends. That was, uh... This game is interesting. It's kind of spooky. Uh, they started moving faster throughout the night, it seemed. Like, um, when he was on the floor. Which was new. I don't think he's been on the floor before. He was always on the ceiling. Um, but he was like a third or maybe halfway across the floor when before I used to catch him and he was still in the closet. And I and I turned and as soon as I heard that door open, I turned and looked right at him. And he was moving quick. Woof. You like all the Borderlands? Two is your fave. Current character is zero. I tore up with Wilhelm with zero. Oh yeah, dude. Like zero was cool, but the way like I like to play him, he was not good in a party, and uh, that was kind of a bummer. So, but zero was fun. Who did I? Uh... Yeah, once Ga I think Gage came out first. Uh, she was super fun. Uh, but then I uh, once Creed came out, that was just hilarious. Just running around, beating people with your axe and screaming crazy psycho things. Good stuff. The Facebook page says December 14th. I don't think it would be awesome, but don't know how I would do in VR. Oh, you think it would be awesome, but you don't know how you do in VR. Yeah, it would be very interesting. Is it a... It's probably a paid release, huh? It's not a... Just an add-on to the game. Which is kind of deters me from wanting to get it. Excuse me. And that means I would have to keep the VR set up over here anyway to play it. And I, 
And the other downside of that too is I don't know oh, here. Here we go. I don't think I'd play uh Borderlands in VR on stream. That doesn't sound very fun. Borderlands and general and normal on stream. Oh man. Realize I didn't have my heart rate monitor focused. Dang it. So that was probably not working. Sorry. Um yeah, Borderlands I definitely want to play. Probably play a uh, sequel first. But VR, one, it might be super nauseating and just weird in general. It might be fun just to do like a, a fun thing by myself, not necessarily on stream, just play for like 20 minutes or something. But like I wouldn't be able to interact with chat um, playing Borderlands in VR without taking crazy breaks and stuff like you could argue it's no different than what I'm doing now. However, these games that I'm playing now are going to, we have like obvious breaks in between. It's like, I just finished a night. Cool. Break time. Um, the only difference between that and, or between another game we're going to be playing is alien isolation. That one, I just may have to have arbitrary breaks. Um, if we get to it. Um, so yeah, I don't think borderlands in VR would be a fun stream, but just playing it. Be, is something I definitely want to do. I have to keep myself from buying new games because um, I have so many I have to play still. Although, I will be buying some this month just because I need some horror games to play in VR for Screamtober. But that's that's no big deal. Um, I almost picked up... Uh, what was it? Infernium. I almost picked up Infernium today. That one looks interesting. It's a... I think they tout it as like a, a Pac-Man kind of maze puzzler thing, but you're a person thing and, it, and it's like you're in purgatory or hell or something. Um, and it looked interesting. The art looks really cool. The level designs look cool, but I started reading a bunch of the, the reviews and they all pretty much complained about the same thing. It's like there's like zero tutorial. It expects you to just kind of figure out buttons that stuff happens. Uh, which is kind of bad and some of them say like the level design is not very good uh, besides the aesthetics um, they say the story is kind of mishmash pish posh together and one one person I think nailed it on the head they said like they really had this great idea for a VR scenery and aesthetic game but they didn't have anything any mechanics ideas or uh, story really to fit with it so it kind of just slammed it in um so it, it kind of deterred me away from playing it or buying it because i think it's 40 bucks um so i was like mm, uh, if it doesn't have that great of reviews i don't want to pay 40 bucks on it so if it goes on sale maybe we'll pick it up that's that's also what i'm waiting for is uh hopefully these other vr games i need to buy will go on sale because it's October, man. Put some horror games up for sale. Come on, Steam. It really is. You have zero spec for Sniper? I, yeah, see, I did a uh, Sword Zero run up in their face and beat them up with swords. Oh, it's 50 bucks? <laughs> mm, yeah, that's a huge turnoff. Yeah. Oh, hey, I have a sub thing. Whoops. I should, uh, I should, I, I added a new sub alert today. Or not alert, but message thing for the bot. I should have just combined it. I didn't know I had one. Whoopsies. Graphics and visuals mean nothing if the game without mechanics. Yeah. Which is a downside because I actually really love graphics and visuals. Um, especially if they're unique or stylized. Um, but, you know, same thing. That's like with some shooters. It's like, wow, it looks gorgeous. Man, it's boring to play. You know, they, they really drop it. But so, yeah, it was just a downside, too, because I looked at Infernium and uh, Doom VFR 
before tonight to see because uh, I was looking for a more of a fun kind of game to break in between Five Nights and today, kind of, kind of like we did last week. But I, there was none that were under that threshold of like, all right, this could be worth paying for and playing tonight and be a fun horror game. Um, so I was like, crap, I'm gonna have to do some Boogeyman, which I have Boogeyman 2. Apparently I bought them in a pack a while ago. So Boogeyman 2 also has VR and he looks way scarier. So we end up running out of games. We could always play Boogeyman 2 if I end up beating this one. But I thought about doing Subnautica. But I'm not sure. I, I don't like the controls. The control setup for Subnautica sucks in VR. So that, that could just be more frustrating than fun. I don't know. Either we're getting into that weird zone of like which games would actually be really fun to play in VR and in the interacting with the community. But Alien Isolation looks cool. I think that's one I would like to play. And I should probably budget my time. What? What's today's date? Thir tenth? So we have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, nope. One, four, five, seven. Oh. Like it, it feels like I have way more time, but I only have seven more streaming days besides today. Okay. Uh, I may have to look up how long it takes to beat Alien Isolation on average and uh, maybe pick that up and start playing it. Please hold. I'm going to check uh, Twitch and see what other games I had on the docket uh, for possibly planned for Screamtober. Let's see. Okay. Uh, events. Alright, today's Boogeyman. Alright, so I had Infernium, Doom, Inner Voices, Subnautica and Alien Isolation. Subnautica is definitely like forever worth of gameplay. Uh, but I think we would just play that for a couple of days for fun. Just to swim around and enjoy the fish stuff. That could always be fun. Um, Infernium and Doom I'm kind of putting off on the Oh, didn't I have Dread Halls? What happened to Dread Halls? Hold up. Doom. Past events. Oh, snap! Dread Halls got booped out somehow. That's another game. Crap, I forgot to look that one up. Here, let's bring that back out. I wonder if that's free. I don't think so. It's probably something I have to pay for as well. All right, Dread Halls is showing back up. All right. See that. Steam powered. Dread Halls. And we'll also check the rating. Sorry, this is this is our break time. So, I guess it's all right. 95% rating, that's good. 10 bucks, that's acceptable. All right. Looks interesting. Ooh, it's a dungeon walkthrough. Oh, and there's monsters in it, of course. Ugh. Yeah, that could be scary in VR. 95% rating. That, I like seeing that. Oh, here you go. Playing Dread Halls in VR made me feel the most intense, tangible fear that I can recall experiencing ever in my 47 years of life on this planet. Wow. Not afraid to play the game, but it's quite challenging to keep my cool even after putting some time into it. Wow. <laughs> Many of my family members cannot bail before for more than a minute before bailing out. Looking for a scary VR game with replay value? Buy Dread Halls. Don't wait for it. Don't wait for a sale. Buy it now. Yeah, that's a game that could be worthwhile buying because 10 bucks, 95% review. 
Apparently has a bunch of replayability. We could do that one. I'll look into it. Arizona Sunshine is uh, a zombie wave shooter survival thing, I think. Although I think it needs an open room. Like a 3D environment. It's not a sit down shooter. Or a sit down VR. You know, I don't know if you technically consider that a, a horror game. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <sighs> Come on, Nick. Things are not popping. Get a little bit of water here. Mm. All right, Celtic. If you're here, do you think we should, uh, excuse me, do another round here? Woo. I'm glad I don't have to run around in this game because that was going to be a problem. Uh, when I was running little kid feet through the tutorial always, I guess you'd call it. That was super nauseating. It being that low to the ground and moving like that and that quickly is very nauseating. It, it's not natural feeling at all. And I wonder if that's just because I'm not used to being two feet high. And so moving that quickly at two feet high is weird. What's up, dude? Whew. Oh, you got finally popped. You good, doggo? Yep. But got to know. Get to know. Get it, get the nose. Are you giving fives? Thank you for the fives. Boop, 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 boop. All right. I think we can do another round here. There's a weird order I have to do this. I have to put on the headset. No, because then that activated the game, even though I didn't have game focus. Maybe activate game first. Well, actually, switch to VR mode first. That's what you do. VR mode. And then switch to game. Wherever that is. Game, there you go. Boogeyman. And the downside is, like, I have to get my fingers oriented. Go Boogeyman focused. Focused. Hope I can. Oh, dude. It moved me in front of my bed. Not like that. Am I actually supposed to be here? Ow, that was blinding. And that blinds the boogeyman? That'd be kind of sweet. Nope. Dude, I just used so much power to scare him away. That wasn't cool. Like he just stared at my camera or my flashlight. Nope. See how fast they are now? Ow. That flash is super disorienting. Nope. Not him right away. What? The light in the hallway went out. Oh, that's him breathing. Crap. Better not run out of power. Ow, that hurts. Nope. I almost went under the bed. I thought he would go away. Because you didn't... Doorway opened up. Is 
was that? Another light go out? Get out of here. Yeah, green. Ooh, the thunder threw me off. Nope. What the? The light's turning off, yo. I should just look forward and then look backward. Like that. What was that noise? That was a new one. Get out of here. Something's getting weirdly loud. Fuck off! Little robot man. That was freaky. Rain is getting loud. I'll probably fill up my battery. Fuck. I miss it. Or Out of here. Whoa, he wasn't making any noise. I just l luckily saw him after the flash of the lightning. What was that noise? That is what I heard. That was weird. Full power. What the fuck? What was that? Get out of here, bro. I have to look directly at him, apparently. On that one. Oh, I just got nauseous. Everything went in a funky direction. Oh, that's breathing. Oh, God, that's actually legit blinding. I don't know if he actually will come get me since it's dark in here. So it's kind of freaking me out. Or does that just mean I can't look under my bed? You know what I mean? Yeah, suck it, ugly! He's still breathing, though. Can I still- can I get killed if I looked under my bed right then? Alright. Is there more? I'm assuming there's five nights, like, Freddy's. Night four. Okie dokie. Time, 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 time. Making good progress. Proud of myself. Proud of myself. It's probably going to get stupid hard. Like, I bet you it's difficult. He just goes... Like, it's not, it's not stupid easy. Night three is a slight hump. And then also, day four. I could see that. I could see that happening. Whoa. Game is interesting. 
I'm wondering if, uh, I bet you walking around the house is way harder. Or, it's actually, you just can run around your room. I don't know if you can actually walk around your house. Because it sounds like, um, because he, he can come in, in your bedroom door. So that would tell me that that's like the end of the game world. Like you wouldn't be able to exit out of there. And if you could, how creepy would it be to be like, I'm going to leave the room, and then he's like in the hallway. Although that makes sense. Because in the tutorial halls, it brought up um, opening and closing doors. And did it bring up breathing? Because if it did, that means Five Nights 4 probably took their idea from Boogeyman in the breathing. I wonder if that's a thing. Curious. Curious, sir, and curious, sir. Oops. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's been trying to pop all day. I'm sorry. I know that makes a lot of people cringe. I knew some people that, uh, if you cracked kn knuckles of any sort or bones or whatever, joints, uh, they got all nauseous. I think I've said nauseous more times during this month than I ever have in my life combined. Hey, you. What are you doing? You doing the sniffins? Hmm? Oh, goodness. How you doing, doing? Whoop, whoop, whoop. One point during that time, I don't know what happened, but I think the tracking got off, so it slid me around. On it on the on the weird axis there when I was turning back and that's like immediate boom barfy feeling. Part of me like well, my stream setup is set up on a like coffee table technically right here. I have a a racing chair for VR. I wonder if that would be fun. I don't know if that'd be any fun to watch. That could be interesting. Um, but I think I put a Euro Truck Simulator on my wish list, just because that could be goofy fun. I don't know. I don't think that's necessarily a game I would like to feature to play, but maybe it could be a fun, goofy, one-off kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Have I played Deceit before? I don't think so. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me about it. And while you're telling me about it, I'm going to check out this thing. There you go. I'm just going to combine these two. Uh, this way. Delete. Bam, sub info. And we can make it a command now. Sub perks. Copy. Save. And then Cool. All right, cool. We just uh, I just combined two of the bot commands into one. Let's see if it works. Slam done. You said deceit. Deceit. Well, I shouldn't just type in deceit. Deceit game. Oh, oh, browser or. Google, you know me too well. Type in Deceit, and immediately the first hit is Deceit on Steam. Ooh, it's made with the Cry Engine. Deceit, test your instincts. Oh, hey, don't. let me read this before I see that. Test your instincts at trust and deception in a multiplayer first-person shooter. 
You wake up in an asylum to the sound of an unfamiliar voice surrounded by five others. A third of your group have been infected with the virus, but who will escape? Ooh, I'm sold. Or, I'm intrigued. Ew. Infected look gross. Ow, punch him right in the face. Oh, this looks interesting. Oh, and it's free to play? That's awesome. Oh, this looks cool. Oh, and it's not just indoors. There's oh, well, that could technically be indoors, but it looked outdoors in a cave kind of thing. Okay. This looks fun. Hopefully it's... Oh, the rating's not good. That makes me hope it's not like a pay-to-win. Nothing turns me off more than pay-to-win. Like, pay-to-play is a step under pay-to-win. Pay-to-win, ew. The, the feet, was that coming out of your belly? Like, pay-to-play, everyone is still on the same level. You just have to pay however so often to play, which is... Worse than free, obviously, but pay to win, that's always worse. That's always the worst. Unless it's a pay to play, then pay to win. Ugh. At that point, it's just burn the game. Just light it on fire. Throw it in a dumpster. This looks cool. The <laughs> intro movie is long as hell. Or the trailer, or whatever you call it. The people m run funny. Wait a minute. Why are the survivals... Why are the survivors shooting the person? Oh, is that why it's called deceit? Is because you don't know who the infected one is? Because if that's the case, that would be kind of a bummer. I was thinking this would be fun for uh, me to play with my buddies. But we're, we'd always be like on Steam chat or something. The problem being... You would always know who the infected one is because they're probably the quiet one. Ugh. The way their mouths open up. That looks interesting. And it's free to play. That's super cool. Alright. What are the... Do you want to ruin your eyes? So, so this game is for you. The game itself, very boring, uninstalled. Aw. I'll oh, screw you in. You didn't tell me why. The, those reviews I throw out in my brain. It's like, you gotta explain it. Community is just full of trolls and they just kill you for no reason. Only play with friends. Yeah, that's probably what I would do. So throw out that review. Yeah, everyone's saying the same thing. It's a waste of time if you're playing by yourself. The community is toxic and just kill everyone. Wow, someone has 800 hours in it and say you shouldn't play it. Oh, that's a bummer. Only redeeming factor is that some of the players have nice accents and have met a few friends on it. Little garbage, why? Apparently devs haven't fixed a glitch. Yeah, see all these people are complaining about the, the community. It's like, alright, well if I just play with friends, who cares? Oh, apparently it got a... Uh, Picked up by another dev, that's kind of a bummer. Yep, game has hackers. The IP blocks you say. Huh. Yeah, that, 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 like, I want to try it, because I'm just going to play with friends anyways. So, I'm on board with that. All right, let me catch up on chat. Sorry, I've, I had that full screen and I couldn't see. I only have one monitor right now in VR mode, so I can't 
multitask like I should be able to. Multiplayer game, you have six people trapped in an area. Two people are infected with a virus that changes them to creatures when they drink enough blood. You have to find who is infected or if the infect convince you others aren't and try to kill them while they are try to get out. That sounds fun. It's like a first person shooter um, town of Salem. I'm pretty good at that game, town of Salem. If I get to be like a murderer. I got it down to me and two townies, and I convinced the other townie that uh, he was the serial killer when it was me. It was great. Yeah, that looks super fun, Celtic Witch. I'm totally down for trying. I'm going to... Hey, Rooster, what up, dude? No, that, I did two nights of Five Nights at Freddy's, man. Uh, yesterday was the second night. But welcome to the stream. Thanks for dropping in. We were just talking about a game called Deceit. Uh, you'll have to check it out. It looks super fun. We should get the... And it's a six-player game. And because if you recall, we've been talking about how most games are four player and we have six players. Um, but this is a six player one. It looks really interesting. I'd be totally down to play it. You can get cosmetics, but upgrades are based on your experience. That's acceptable. You have to talk to each other and convince others you're not infected. That sounds fun. What was the name of the game with the witch killing? Uh, the one where you have to hunt the witches? Like the, you're the town? Oh, Rooster, dude, you missed out, dude. You should have watched the Five Nights plays. It's crazy. So, you know Five Nights 4, Nightmare Fredbear with the teeth and the golden Freddy? The troll of the dev of, make, of Five Nights. At some point, I don't know how I triggered it, but I did. And I turn around, you're in the storeroom, you know where all the heads are and stuff in Five Nights 1. That's the loading screen. I was in there. And I turn around at some point, and there's giant demon evil Fredbear from FNAF 4 behind me. It was not okay. I, I don't think I ever clipped it, but it was... Mm, and he just... And every time I loaded up the game, he was there. But yesterday, he disappeared. And I don't know how I triggered him, but it was not okay. Ooh, it was scary. You can get some trolls on there, but it's still cool. Yeah, if we have six players, who cares? about the trolls and even if we only have five or four it's uh four v two if we get even if we get a troll non-infected player everyone just turns around and like my friends would be like okay that guy's a troll dead killed the troll sweet let's keep playing you know it was town of salem yeah that game's fun i should play town of salem on stream sometimes that that could be fun what are you oh shitting about rooster in Celtic, I don't know if you're a guy or a chick or how you say identify, so I'm going to say they. Gender neutral pronoun thing. Use that. Um, Celtic witch trolled me good, man. They played a, a, a Freddy sound effect uh, with the bit soundboard and totally threw me off. I thought Freddy was moving and it scared the crap out of me and then I ended up getting killed. Because what, what, what happened... Uh, on that Celtic, was that when I thought I shut the door on Bonnie and apparently I didn't and then got killed because I was focusing on the fake Freddy? Fun times. Random event? Maybe. But he didn't go away. It was weird, dude. Like, I don't, I don't know if it's, I triggered him and I think I triggered, uh, yesterday I triggered, uh, Golden Freddy? Like, the Golden Freddy trigger is when the kids laugh, right? And uh, I don't remember how to get rid of him. I think it's you actually have to open the camera or something, but he eventually went away. Um, I didn't see him, though. Like, I, th I think I remember turning around to look behind me, but I only can turn around so far, so he could have been in my blind spot. But he, he didn't get me, and I was scared. Yeah. Yeah, they got me good. Uh, Fragger got me a good couple times, too. Um, someone played Chica beating on pans at some point, and I was able to figure out that it was, a, it was a fake one because I went up and checked the stage, and Chica was still on the stage. Sabrina! Hi! Did you get a new phone? Nice. That's exciting. Good, good, good. That's super cool.
I'm excited for you. I did the... Oh, you did the Golden Freddy troll? Oh! Well done. I didn't know I made a sound effects for the Golden Freddy. I didn't know I did that. Nice. I made those weeks before doing uh, the game because I was just like, that sounds like a fun idea. Why do I hate myself? Uh, no, I don't think uh, Fragger has dropped in today. Um, but he, we, got, we had two stream bosses yesterday. We had... Uh, Mama, stop it. We had a new person come in, kill Sorisk, and then Fragger ended up killing that stream boss. And so he's a stream boss now. It was crazy. Yesterday was crazy. Super fun. And we broke 200 followers, guys. That's awesome. Uh, 50 more, and uh, I'll do, I'm going to do a charity stream for uh, an animal rescue organization. That'll be fun. I'm excited for that. That's, that's crazy funny, Celtic, because I didn't see that someone, or someone triggered the Golden Freddy sound bit in the, ch in the chat. That's funny. I was like, how did I get Golden Freddy like uh, all night? I was just like, I don't know what I did and I don't know how I didn't die, but something happened. But that's funny. Well done. We may have to come back to VNAF <laughs> and in VR every now and then. That's a fun little little endeavor. Oh, also, by the way, guys. Um, since we hit 200 follows, I decided to do a flash sale for the merch, if you, if you guys are interested. Um, but for the next 72 hours, uh, all merch is 25% off. So, that is there if you're interested. You got the iPhone 8 Plus, especially since I didn't know what the what phone I had before. Oh, nice! Nice! Oh, that is so cool. I'm glad. Getting new phones are... I don't know, there's just something about it. Just having a new phone. Especially when you come from the dinosaur ages. Right, Rooster? Finally got you a smartphone. <laughs> Might do uh, one more night before I end the stream tonight. I was kind of worried. I don't know how many nights this game has. Maybe I should look that up. Because... I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to do that right now. Because... Uh, if there's, like, if this is the last night, I might just finish it. Or if there's two more nights, I might put it off till tomorrow. Because, uh... There are a total of seven nights. Okay, that's acceptable. Okay, so maybe that's why it's been not so difficult. Is we're halfway through the game. As niche night progresses, they continually ramp up in difficulty. Okay. Oh, so there, that was... An, uh, okay, so the dev was still updating the game, apparently, because he says you can use items to help you through each night. But, um... Where do I get the flares and stuff? And this says, in the beginning of each night, a tape from the cassette player will begin to play. The tapes will give hints to the backstory of the house and how to survive each night. They seem to have been recorded by a young girl named Alicia, who used to sleep in the room that Thomas's family moved into. We haven't heard a single tape. Did someone add the audios of the tape recordings for each night? I can't find them anywhere. Okay, so, as a group here, since for some reason we're not getting the tape recordings, um, we're gonna listen to these, because I, I don't want to miss out on the story here. Boogeyman audio tape one, maybe. Audio tape. That's not what I want. Game audio tape one. No. Oh man. That's not it.
I don't know, um... Apparently that person's right, no one can find the audio Hello, tapes anywhere. Well, that's a bummer. Here you go, Ubisha. Uh, I can't. It's not a phone call, though. Oh, here's text. I want to hear the audio. All right, if this doesn't work, maybe I'll just read it. What was that? Oh, I'm hearing something behind me. Yeah, I'm not finding... Oh, that's a bummer. Alright, let's see if I can... I don't want to go to someone else's YouTube channel and... Hello, lady here. Like Thanks that. <laughs> Get in trouble for recording their audio. Here we go. Let's try this. Boogeyman. Let's play no commentary. Maybe. Because I, I want to know what the tapes are, man. We're on night three, and we haven't heard a single tape. So I want to know what we're going to do. We're going to do this as a community. Under the floorboard, under oh, the there we go. No one Found it. During the we're going to reverse. Here we go. Listen to this. Oh. Here we go. Hopefully you guys can hear this. If you're listening to this, I sure hope you're not planning on sleeping in this room. I'm Alicia, and if you've unfortunately Alicia. only stumbled across this tape during the dark, it's probably watching you right now. I left a flashlight under the bed if you've not already found it. It's the only thing they're scared of. I've this poor girl. I'm telling people. The, the bogeyman. He got my sister. No one will believe me. They won't believe you either. Trust me. You'll need to learn to oh. fight this by yourself. There are some spare batteries hidden under the floorboard, under the bed. They're kind of mixed up. Sorry. If you can last long enough, it'd leave you alone. Like it did me. Eventually. I hope. Oh, that's so sad. I don't know where night two is going to start, though. This person's moving around the house. Oh, dude. That sounds like a terrible idea. Why would you do that? I feel like I might have... skipped something on accident. I might have skipped night two. Maybe? Screw it, it's a pain in the ass to try to find it. Or that's the end of it. Nope, I'm gonna just read it. It's too much of a pain in the ass to find the audio. And also, let me catch up on chat. Oh boy, let's see, let's see, let's see. Still playing motion sickness simulator? Welcome back, Yuri. Uh, we are, but uh, the v the mode that we're playing, we don't have to move around the house, so there's no motion sickness. It's literally all I have to do is turn my head. So, it's I haven't been bad at all, which is fine. Your phone is a brick. Oh, no. Once you get done here, I'm going over to... Where are you going over? Past few weeks. Oh. Oh, man. You fell down the stairs. Yuri, man. You're just getting all the bad luck recently, dude. You all right? Oh, no major injuries. Probably probably more bruised. <laughs> I understand. Hey! Yuri with the five bitties. 
Wait a minute. Did you do 10? I see Frankers. Oh, there it goes. No, no, that was just a message. They thank you for the bitter joy. You want shake? Really? That's the most lazy shake ever. Can you sit? Come here. Come here. Come here. There you go. Be a proper shake. Proper shake. Oh, so good joy. They say thank you for the bitter joy. Nom, 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 nom. What about you, mamas? One in, one in. What can you do? Can you lay down? Lay down. Lay down. Put your face on the ground. Oops, here. I'm gonna end up spilling this, so I'm gonna close this. Hey, see? Lay down. Oh, good mama, you lay down. Good doggy. Here. That doesn't sound like a big trick, but for mamas, that's a big trick. She, she's kind of heavy hippo. She doesn't understand it. You're kind of dumb. You need a crash helmet. I like his t-shirt. This one? Donatello? Uh, Leonardo? That's the second time I've done that. It's because Donatello is my favorite. It's just my brain defaults. My face was priceless. About what? I'm so confused. What she do? I'm so confused. Alright, let me, uh, I'm gonna read these audio tapes. Alright, night two says hello tom she knows my name is thomas hello thomas you know i don't like it when you hide in there corruptus is active ellie is here ellie is here you know the closet is the only second favorite place for the bogeyman what's the first thomas 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 no no it's active goodbye and good luck what all right, that's confusing. Never mind, I'm not reading those. The, whoever wrote that is... It's really weird. Hey! Hey, slurping, derping. Stop it! Nope. 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 All right. Bummer. That's a bummer. I want to know what their audio tapes are. Maybe I can find them in the the settings or something somewhere. Oh, the video sound thing I was watching. I got you. I got you. Want a game on something? I had the day off and now I'm bored. Oh, no, I'm going to finish this one up. And I think the guys are playing uh, Overwatch, man. If you want to join them. Also, check out that Deceit game that uh, Celtic told us about. It's free. Um, I'm probably going to be downloading it at some point. That looks super fun to play. Could be fun. Could be fun. Okay, let's see. Uh, did I accidentally close something? Uh, I did not. We're good. All right, I think we can do uh, one more round. Hi. What do you want? What do you need? Mwah! You face geezers. Go away. I'm going to download it tonight when I sleep. Nice. Yeah, it looks interesting. I'm totally down. I'll we'll have to play it. Can you stop? No. <laughs> Boop. That could be a fun horror game. <laughs> you can play it. It's not VR though, so. I'll have to wait on that. Can you scooch? Blurp. <laughs> We're sitting like a people. All right. You guys want to do another round? I think we can do another round here. Wow. All right. How, what was the order I had to do again? It was, all right, switch to VR. Switch to game. Excuse me. Put on headphone and hope that they don't attack me as I'm getting situated. Like that, like that, like that. Fucking. What the hell? What the? Oh, this ain't fair. Ah! Fucking! Fucking monkey. This just cranked up in difficulty, guys. Nope, nope. I almost went and got more battery. Nope.
Thank you. Shit. That's not fair. How did someone let me go to bed like this? Vents open. Nope. What? <gasps> I got grabbed. Thank God I didn't have to see him. There's blood everywhere. That's dark. You think that he would just like abduct the child. How did he grab me? Where did he come from? Did I break the game? Ugh. Why is that there? What the? Was the game not paused and it was just... All this stuff got open somehow? Because it's definitely paused now. Or so everything that, shut. That Jeez, that scared me. <laughs> Whoa! He got close. So, did I not pause the game or something? Or what happened there? Did anyone see what night it said it started on? It should have been night four. Oh, I almost went under bed. My power is almost out. I see you, fucker. How is my power almost out? That ain't cool. Whoa. Whoa. Dead freaking out. I need batteries. Not red. Red is garbage. Yeah, green. I heard you. I'm gonna get another one. Fuck you, red. Nope. Nope, get out of here. Dude, it drains so fast. Fuck off. I actually have to look up or down for that guy. See? It just bobbed me. Oh my. Whatever. Bad again, and it's weird. Alright, next one I see. Hopefully, there's no breathing. And, uh, I'll get another battery. Fuck off. Yeah, green. Oh, great. Everything's dark. That's fun. Nope. Get out of here. God, that scared me. Fuck off. Thanks, Furnace, for kicking on and scaring me. Nope. Great. Just kidding. I don't know if I actually have to keep him away somehow, because I got killed. Toasty! Jeez. By not... Doing anything when he's breathing. I think I'm moving too, too fast. Well, we're pull. Nope. Crap, he's breathing again. Glad I got a battery when I did. Nope. Fuck off. Dude, that one flash just drained a whole bar. I see you. Alright, he's not breathing anymore. Should I get another battery?
Nope. That was loud. Way louder than usual. Yeah, blue! Oh shit. <laughs> I got a blue and it already took up half a bar. Nope. Dude, crazy fast now. Nope. Dude, they're assaulting me. I like the- I want to stare outside because I like the fog. It looks all cool. Looks creepy cool. Where did that come from? I heard something. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. No one wants you here. You're invited to my birthday party. Hear something. I don't know if that's when my dog's breathing loud. Or it's him actually making groaning noises. Ow, that was blinding. Yeah, I don't know if he can actually show up behind me and it's kind of worrying me. Thought I heard something. Fuck off! Nope, nope, nope. God! Scared me. Stupid telephone? Who's calling me at six in the morning? I'm a child. Haha, -ha, boogeyman. Got nothing. Who's talking? Where was he talking from? Did you guys hear that? That was creepy. Woo! I got a doggo butt. Ear. There's an ear. I got a doggo face. Night five. Oh, it's all snowy. That cool. Cool beans. All right, let's catch up on chat. It sounds like uh, <clears throat> I may have activated the game. Because I heard uh, something open up. Right, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. What we got? Around the room for cherry bomb. Around the room for cherry bombs, glow sticks, and coffee, the steam discussion. It says to use one, two, three, respectively. Yeah, I'm assuming I have to pick them up, though. Right? What are, you, what are you doing, Rooster? Freddy, Chica. <laughs> Goofy. But I think um, we'll save the rest for tomorrow. I don't know if I'm hearing things or what. But I'm hoping it saves it. Uh, the progress, because... We actually did pretty good. Like, we only got scared that one time because I'm not counting that as a real death because I popped into the game when stuff was already broken. Like, the door was permanently open. The vent was broken. I think the closet was all the way open. The window was all the way open. I don't know what happened there. That was weird. But then when it, I died and it reloaded, everything was all closed like normal. Something was weird there. That was goofy. I'm thinking it might be the version where you actually can run around the house. Um, because when I was doing the audio tape, uh, when I was playing it to listen to it, uh, the person playing was actually off the bed and they were running through the house. So I think um, you can actually find like glow sticks and stuff. Which actually would probably make the game way harder, but also more interesting as opposed to just staying on a bed looking around. You know, like, like all right, cool, I got a flash or a flare and run back to my room and throw a flare in a corner i don't know interesting cherry bombs that sounds cool do they just kind of flash i wonder just to be like kind of scare them away quickly and be like all right well i have to or maybe like if you have to walk down a dark hallway you can be like cherry bomb 
if it catches them, they go. Or maybe multiple. Maybe there's multiple boogeyman. Which could be the case because we heard that one breathing under the bed and one came through the door. So if there's multiple boogeyman, wouldn't that be creepy? Going down a bl dark hallway and you throw a smoke or a cherry bomb and it flashes and like three of them recoil like they're climbing on the walls or something. Whew. That'd be creepy. Interesting, but creepy. But uh, this game is... Um, I mean, it's not bad, but maybe it's because I'm not playing at the level I'm supposed to be playing. But I could have sworn when it first came out, there was no walk around the, the house mechanic. So I might, maybe that's why I'm missing out or something. But also walking around in that game was very nauseating in VR, so I'm not going to do that. I don't know. It was a like I love hanging out with you guys. I feel like the the game and the stream that I did was probably very lackluster, unfortunately. But oh well, it is what it is. Stuff like that happens. Do I got anything here? Nope. Nope. Bummer. I keep finding I'm following more and more art and uh, creative channels <laughs> and uh, it's making it harder for raids and stuff when uh, I don't have any other gaming channels up whoopsies oh well um, also I need to check the I think we have a couple bots in the yeah. Yeah. We have a couple bots in the chat that are getting uh, Meet Square money, so I'm going to have to add them to the exclusion list. But I can do that after the chat, or after the stream's over. I don't have to bother you guys with that. But, uh... Oh, I was just going to say that. There you go. Flash sale information. <laughs> um... I also kind of want to maybe do a a giveaway at some point. I don't know what exactly, but you know, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Be fun. Um, also, the uh, charity stream will be coming up soon, soon. As soon as we get, what is it, 49 more followers, which is pretty sweet. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. You're awesome. I hope you guys are having fun. Um, we're going to be doing some more. I think we'll we'll probably end up beating this tomorrow. Unless it gets crazy hard after night five. Or night four. Did we beat night five or night four? I think we beat night four. So maybe, maybe it gets way harder in night five, six, seven. I don't know. Uh, but we might beat it tomorrow, which will be the first horror VR game that we've actually officially beaten since we started Screamtober, but... I don't know. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Let me know what you're liking, what you're not liking. Uh, but we're going to end it here. Um, we're going to crash out. All that good noises. You ready for dinners? Jared is ready for some dinners. But uh, get some quick shout outs here. Yuri, thank you for the 10 bits, man. It's always appreciated. I'm glad uh, you're able to drop in. And I'm glad the game wasn't as nauseating. So you were able to see some of the actual gameplay there. But, uh, yeah. Hope to guys see you guys tomorrow. And then, uh, as always, Friday is off day. Um, maybe we'll do something this weekend. Um, it wouldn't be anything Screamtober related. It might be just, maybe we'll try that Deceit game. Maybe we'll play some Overwatch or something. Uh, because the Halloween thing with Overwatch is going on. And I, I heard Bastion has a, a zombie walk dance thing. And that sounds hilarious. Even though I don't play Bastion, I just kind of want it because it sounds awesome. I want to get his his uh, jungly skin, her jungly skin, rather. She has like grass and stuff growing on her, and then have her do the zombie walk. Maybe that sounds fun. Hi, doggo. But uh, yeah. Remember to spay new to your pets. Adopt, don't shop. Donate to a rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are much in need. Anyway, I'm Vasive. This needy one here is Jada. 
I don't know where the mama's is. She's probably upstairs waiting to get dinner. But thank you so much for tuning with me. Hope to catch you next time. I'm Vasive. I forgot my outro. See ya.